Hey there. In this video, I'm going to show how to install Liberty Basic and start it up and how to register it. So let's get started. So here we have the installation program that you would download from our site. This is for version 4.5.1. I'll double click on this to start the installer. Okay, say yes to this prompt so that we can run it. All right, there it is. Click Next. This is the default location where Liberty Basic is installed. You can change that to something closer to the root folder like C colon backslash LB451 or something simple like that. Some people prefer to do this just to make it easier to use the command line um, to move to the Liberty Basic folder. But this is a good choice. I would recommend most users simply accept the default, click Next. Now it's going to install a bunch of files. So it'll only take a moment. This version of Liberty Basic uh, starts itself up at the end of the installation process, but some of them don't. And this one also installs a desktop icon, and some of them don't. So if you look over here, here is the uh, desktop icon. All right, so it's done. Now it's going to start itself up. Now, let me first show you where the setup screen is, uh, the registration screen, that is. Over here on the setup menu, there's an enter registration code item. You click on that, you get this little pop-up window. If you're upgrading from an old version of Liberty Basic, version 2, version 3, you would enter your old registration information in these fields, and then you would enter your new information in these fields. Most people would be uh, new users, so you would enter your name here. So, like so. And then your registration code, which would might look something like um, something like that. Then you click OK, and you'd be done. Okay, so now let's talk about how to start it up. This, since this started up on installation. At some point you're going to close it, you're going to want to open it back up again. You can either double click on this icon, like so. But if you have a version of Liberty Basic that doesn't have that icon installed to the desktop, or if your icon is obscured by a bunch of windows, then you can start it by bringing up the Windows Launch. So you come down here, you can click on the Start button, like this. All right, um, and type the word liberty like so. Wait a moment, there we are. There's only one match on this search. So you can either click on it or hit enter. I'm gonna click on it. Okay. And once you've got it open, you can you can write a program. Uh, I just clicked on this new file button, or you can use the file new menu. All right, and then you can write a program. On that, click on the run button. Okay, easy enough. Or you can open one of the many examples, click on the open file button. So let's pick a, an example. 
Mm. Let's open a draw program. To sort these by name. Double click. Here's the code for the program. Run the, the program and here's a little miniature drawing program. Draw some lines. Pick a color red. Draw a circle. Okay, you get the idea. 